Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's uh, you know, Ethereum update for Sunday 19th of June and isn't this price just lovely to the eyes if you are a, a crypto investor for like 4-5 years, 10 years probably I mean $963, let me actually zoom out and let's talk about where Ethereum, where the hell did it came from, where we're we going let me remove all the charts from the screen and look at this guys, I came up here, make a double top, boom broke the neckline came down met the technical target and made another continuation patterns like this and ever since that time you are continuing to go to the downside i'm gonna try to actually do trading 101 here and make the best possible sense that we can for the market so let's dive into this this is gonna be fun and uh guys if you're interested to join uh, the signals do join it because three days ago i've been telling um, my members that avoid trading for the next three days and uh, particularly at that time ethereum was even a little bit higher this places and now it's 963 so basically we've already saved like nearly 22 percent of the dump and what i mean we won 22 percent if, we, if we're not winning it what you save is what you win but anyway now um i am expecting ethereum to still actually go to the downside i'm not conv quite convinced enough that uh ethereum is looking to go to the upside yes there could be a little bit of uh, green candles maybe next week make a small relief and then continue till the weekends uh, but it seems like this is a bear flag that has a has an effect on ethereum so let's zoom in because pre pretty sure it's not going to be visible on the phone so here we are now it's visible right congratulations so uh, you take this top to that bottom bear flag here and you are breaking that bear flag You can see already that technical target to six eighty two dollars is pending on the cards. Okay, it's still pending now I want to dive in into the weekly and Let's talk about the weekly time frame here and you can see that it's almost like 11 weeks and you've been ready You haven't had any green candles for a long time and as far as i see probably next week if you, if you were to go down to six hundred dollars then next week is really going to be ready okay next week as well is going to be ready because by the end of the day that pattern is in play and unless you don't abandon a pattern then you're not looking to actually change your views you have to stick to one particular plan you must have a game plan and the game plan is that simple that you lost the trend line uh, you made a bear flag, it's taking you to $600 unless you don't break the bear flag up at the $1,200. If you do go to $1,300 somehow, that will be amazing. I said in, the, in previous videos as well, okay? All right. Uh, everything is linked to Bitcoin and that's the, the bad part about it. I don't want anything to be linked to, with Bitcoin as well. But uh, as far as I see things, then... You know, if Bitcoin is looking to drop to the downside. But by the way, Bitcoin is at one of the best places to be invested i think if you're looking for a very long-term investing opportunity man that bitcoin at this point of time is red hot it's an amazing opportunity in my opinion now anyways uh you've lost this trend line i'm going to show you the trend line and how high can you go for ethereum or probably you even went higher up to that ethereum level this is a uh trend line that was lost number one 1300 dollars Number two, you do have a little bit of a, of a support down here at this level. Do you see that? So, uh, which is going to be $851, which you haven't even really touched yet. But by the looks of things, if you do come down here to $600, then you really don't have big support moving forward down here unless this is going to be a big support uh, down the road somewhere at this place right over here. Now this is gonna be big support number one, which is gonna be two fifty eight dollars. That will be a huge, huge support because look at this: uh, one touch here, second touch is there, third one right over here, and then here, and then you broke out of it, came down, made a bull flag, and then boom, start to go to the upside. Uh, and and nonetheless, this was also a double bottom just like that. Do you see that? So huge double bottom breakout went to the upside. If it if it was to make any sense to me the biggest support moving forward is basically that level or you can even say maybe it's not this one but uh, you know you really have to make the lines very very carefully even this one makes sense here I'm just going to show you in a second uh, somewhere down here 
at the 200 levels. I mean, it's it's a zone basically, not even a line. I think it's just a zone, so I'm gonna drop that zone by a rectangle here. Somewhere at this place makes sense to me, okay? Somewhere here, 343 from to 250 dollars, right? So <clears throat> that could be the bottom. Unless it doesn't come down to lose the zone itself. I mean, uh, if you do come down here, it could touch this line, go up. It could, that means it can touch 350, go up. It could even touch 270, go up. So it's a zone, basically, not a, a particular thin line. But if you actually come down to lose this zone uh, to the $199 or the $188 and backtest and fail, then it could be a huge dump even to, to the 30s. Yes, even to the 30s. But all of this is just... A discussion we still have to see uh, ethereum coming down and losing this level go to 600 and i i think that will be a free drop all the way to these levels it doesn't make any sense for me for ethereum to rebound from 600 dollars and go to the upside because you don't have any support at this le at this zone here do you see if i draw a box right here until 400 ish or 350 ish you don't have any support at all so if it does come down to this box even to 722 or 690 and yeah unless it doesn't be a quick wick and then you go up here back to one thousand dollars then that's okay but if you actually just end up closing uh, below at this level then boom you're looking for that level and uh damn that would be an amazing buying opportunity isn't it i would love to get some ethereum at that point it's uh, uh by the way you know Ethereum was the first coin that I ever bought when I started trading cryptocurrency a long time ago and it was priced at uh, nearly $400 when I invested in it and a lot of people who follow me know about this but the thing is that it's an amazing coin for, for a long time but but still you know not, nothing I'm going to say here is going to be a financial advice. Uh, the next thing is I'm going to dive in into the daily as well. We've already talked about the daily so 4 hour time frame is what I didn't talk about. Yeah, so uh, here we are with the 4 hour time frame. It's still continuing to go downside, but we, st we have a little bit of a reversal pattern on a, on a smaller time frame. And this reversal pattern is known as a bullish engulfing candlestick. So the red and the green when you see that. So what I'm going to say is put a stop loss down here at $962. So yeah, I'm just going to place it like that, $962. Because if you come down to take this level, then you're looking for Ethereum to basically continue to drop uh, even further down to the downside. Let's see if we have any hints at the one hour time frame as well. Uh, here we are with the one hourly. Is there any resistance that you're looking for on the one hour time frame? Yes, you do have. So uh, the story goes on like this, that on the one hour time frame, you're really getting resisted quite a lot. OK, so it's on the one hour time frame, came down, uh, went, went up to the 20 and the 10 came down 20 and the 10 like this one 20 and the 10 is acting heavy came down 10 and the 20 acting heavy came down again 10 10 and the 20 acting heavy again you could still continue to go to the downside once again and that's it for today's update hope you enjoyed this lengthy uh, update on ethereum and i'm going to see you in the next one Allah Hafiz.